Let us spend some time with today's Gospel, today's readings on the feast of Saint John the Bosco, who was really a saintly educator. In our first letter to the Hebrews, we we are given the encouragement to cling to Jesus, not to lose sight of Jesus as we live. In the Gospel reading from St. Mark's Gospel, which was longer uh, to read, but it gave us the opportunity to be absorbed in the story, we were presented with two healings. We could, uh, we, could joy. we could join the joy of those being healed. Jairus, when his daughter was healed, and the woman who was healed by the touch of Jesus' cloak. These are the gifts of the Eucharist. Whenever we read the Gospel, a scene, a miracle from Jesus' healing ministry, the Eucharist which we celebrate, this sacrament, gifts us with a healing miracle, with someone's joy to join in, to be marked by that uh, joy and uh, uh, to spread that joy. Perhaps we can relate our progressive reading of uh, Pope Francis's apostolic letter on the liturgical formation of the people of God. He speaks about the Eucharist, that it is a gift to offer to us, that whenever uh, the Eucharist is celebrated, starting with the first Eucharist which Jesus celebrated with his disciples in the Last Supper, there were always people invited because the nature of the gift is that someone receives it, and we are the ones. Paragraph 5 The world still does not know it, because, but everyone is invited to the supper of the wedding of the Lamb. To be admitted to the feast, all that is required is the wedding garment of faith, which comes from the hearing of his word. The church tailors, tailors such a garment to fit each one with the witness of a garment bathed in the blood of the Lamb. Revelation chapter 7 verse 14 We must not allow ourselves even a moment of rest, knowing that still not everyone has received an invitation to his supper, or knowing that others have forgotten it, or have got lost along the way in the twists and turns of human living. This is what the, spoke, uh, the Pope spoke of when he said, I dream of a missionary option, that is, a missionary impulse capable of transforming everything, so that the Church's customs, way of doing things, times and schedules, language and structures can be suitably challenged for the evangelization of today's world rather than for her self-preservation. The Pope wants this so that all can be seated at the supper of the sacrifice of the Lamb and live from Him. So when today, when we go to our workplaces or when we meet anyone or doing our business, even uh, a quiet shopping, 
or attending a coffee morning, let us, let us enter these meetings as parts of today's Gospel, as just as today's miracles were shared with us, let those meetings become part of Jesus' teaching ministry and miracles.